Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by the newest driver of Team Stange Racing and the newest driver to the Arkham Menard Series. It's Matteo Nanini. How's it going, man? Hey, guys. Thank you. All good. What about you? I'm doing well. Uh, uh, of course, he'll be driving the number 46 Ford in select Arkham Menard Series races. And who knows? We could see him other places, too. Um, so, of course, um, before we kind of get into this, of course, you're going to be racing. Um, it'll be a while before you get before you come to race in America. But overall, talk about your how this deal got put together. Yeah. So actually, after my last season in F3, where I competed in the full season and some races in, in F2 as well, I had the possibility to, to test an Indy Light car in the USA. First, I did in Indianapolis and in Barber as well. Then uh, for some reasons and for some connections I had over there, I joined a, a very big agency, which is Wasserman, which is um, an American agency. Yep. And thanks to them, uh, I had this uh, opportunity and to know John, which is the owner of the team, yep. John Stange. Yep. And from that, uh, we built a sort of relationship uh, and uh, he wanted to, to rejoin the series because he raced there a couple of years ago. And so we said, yeah, why not? We can uh, build something together, together with some sponsors. And now, um, yeah, we, we, we made a deal. Of course, you're going to be driving the number 46 Ford for Team Stange Racing. You'll be at Mid-Ohio. That will be your first race and hits a road course. Of course, very familiar with those from running in your formula days where else do you plan on running yeah i i would say that i say that mid Ohio. i'm lucky to start with mid Ohio because uh, as you said i'm uh, it should be a bit uh, a little bit easier than starting the, with uh, with an oval but uh, anyway i think it will be a challenging season i had uh, also because i will have to uh, to deal with sponsor that more directly, which uh, here in Europe we are not very used to it because America works a little bit different. Right. In the NASCAR series, are way more sponsors instead here in Europe. All the, spo the, the main sponsor is the family, unfortunately. And uh, if your family is not big enough, it's it's a bit difficult to to go ahead and uh, make your step through through your goal. So kind of go into your racing background a little bit. Um, how did you get into racing? How did you, how did this whole thing start for you? And kind of talk about yeah. what you've been doing this year so people kind of know who you are. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I'm now 18, I turn 18 uh, in July. Yeah. Uh, my dad, he, he used to race in go-karts. My, my uncle, he, he F1 a couple with Benetton. And so let's say it's a bit uh, in our blood of our family to, to be racing drivers. Uh, we are a little bit mad with the families with crazy ideas and crazy stuff to do. But um, I tried when I was younger, many different sports such as basketball, uh, cycling, but I was not very good at that. Then I had the chance to try a little go-kart, like a rental one when I was six or seven. And from that moment, my, my heart fell in love with the digital go-karts and uh, everything started from, from that moment. What was, your first, what was the first series that you, of racing that you watched? Uh, when I was younger, of course, here in Europe, I was watching a lot of Formula One, but uh, I was a very big fan of uh, Cars, which Cars, the, the movie from Disney, is based on NASCAR because they race in the Hovel. And like I have tons of DVDs from that movie, and uh, yeah, I used to watch also that. You what do you what did you wait? What did you watch? Did you watch like any like racing movies? You said. Yeah, yeah. There is maybe it's not very common in America, but here in Europe there is a, a movie which is based on the NASCAR events more or less. So there are some cars uh, which these cars are uh, uh, real, so they speak between. Uh, others when they are racing in the oval and yeah. it's like a sort of the nascar championship because they start all together it's not like here in europe where there is a, a stand start but they, there is a rolling start 
and then there is the hover with the banking and it's very based on the on the NAS curve. In America, you watched, uh, you know, in America, there's, you know, Days of Thunder and all those other movies that we have here. So uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fun. You're going to have to, you're going to have to watch them when you come here uh, or come yeah. back. Here. Do you plan on moving to the States? Um, not yet, uh, but uh, well, I don't know. Of course, you're, of course, for people that don't know, you're currently in Italy right now. So yeah. Um, so it's like seven o'clock, like six, seven o'clock here yeah. I mean, in Italy. And it's like, obviously at time of recording, it's like two o'clock here. So, um, how are you used, how did you first get into NASCAR? Yeah. So, um, actually my, I have always raced with, uh, a single seater. So like F2, F3, of course, it has an indie light. But uh, for some reasons, uh, this year I couldn't find what we wanted and we got this opportunity with Stange. Anyway, this year I, I will have done something with Stange, yeah, no matter really the, the series. Um, but we come up with this, uh, with this series, the NASCAR ARCA. And actually, I believe that it's the best way for me to start and learning how the American world is, uh, works, also in a novel because I believe it's a, well, it would have been a, a little bit too much risky to go directly to maybe a cup series or an infinity series where drivers have uh, a lot of experience, even in, in a novel, because most of the races are in oval races and they've never raced on, on, on that. And also because you need a, a sort of license. Absolutely. And um, so I believe that this is the best step for me to, to start with my American dream. Yeah. So are you excited to go to, are you excited to go to the States and uh, what's it, what's it going to be like racing in America, um, uh, big stock cars? Yeah, I, I, I'm really excited, especially I'm really moving there because actually I will have to move there for a couple of months at least as a, uh, in NASCAR, especially, there are uh, even in the ARCA some races which are really close between uh, each other. And uh, also because from here in Italy, America is something great, something phenomenal. And being the, the only Italian to, to race over there, it's, uh, it's a privilege, I believe. And I'm really happy for that. Uh, also for the sponsors, they're really happy for me to go over there and start. Uh, um, racing in the U.S. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, there's nothing like racing here, especially, you know, there's NASCAR, of course, there's IndyCar, um, different racing series, IMSA. I know Formula One's pretty popular here, but I know they race all over the world. There's NHRA. There's a lot of the series. There, I mean, the Arkham Menard series is something that a lot of people are going to do. And it's a, it's a good series to kind of step out and kind of maybe really kind of start you know, kind of thing. But yeah, starting at in Ohio, maybe Watkins Glen, we're going to see you at some of these little short tracks. Or are we going to, going to, are they going to put you out on the big tracks? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's the main goal to start with the series. And maybe through the year, uh, depending a little bit on the sponsors deal and stuff like this, I will have the chance to race even in something bigger. But we will see after the first races of the, of the ARCA. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm really happy for that, as I said, and uh, I think uh, it's a great opportunity for me to, to come to the USA and, and start my journey. All right. Well, Matteo, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, about, uh, congrats on your announcement. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you when your first race is, uh, gets closer when you head to the States. Perfect. Thank you very much, Casey, and uh, see you soon.